number of techniques for imparting educational instructions and information. But the use of video film packages in educational programs has its own unique and distinctive place. It brings the outside world in and shows the inside out. With the help of educational television programs, both the sense of sight and the sense of hearing are exploited to the best advantage of the learner. Learning becomes a pleasant experience and the mental impressions thus retained more permanent. ETV programs also give variety and increased interest to the learner. This film is an attempt in this direction. It illustrates and demonstrates the various techniques of presenting TV programs. Let's watch. Hello listeners, it's lovely to be with you all. Let's have a look at the methods that can be used to present TV programs. Some of the most popular ones happen to be based on acting, narration, classroom interaction, presentation, demonstration, commentary, comparing, cartoon, anchoring, interview, and news. Now let's see each of them. Acting-based method establishes how thoughts and feelings are expressed through performance. The artists act out different roles to convey different messages. One such program in action here. Oh, hello, my dear Pradeep. Hello. Oh, hello. How, oh, how do you do? I am very well. Happy New Year. Oh, Happy New Year. Shame to you. Shame to you. Shame what to about you. your brother? My brother? Oh, younger brother? Yes. Sir. Oh, he is very, very good. Oh, you know, he is growing very, very tall day by day. And his health he is very, very fat nowadays. And one more thing. Yes. Sir. Oh, he is looking very, very beautiful. Now, beautiful. Oh, what about your wife and your children? Yes, sir. What they are doing? What are they are doing? They are studying or going somewhere else? Hello, gentlemen. Yes. Yes, sir. May I join you? Sir, of course. Welcome, sir. sir. Welcome. I you suppose were... you were talking in English. In English. English is a very funny language, sir. We talk in English. We walk in English. And we laugh in English. <laughs> no, but you, you also kill English. No, sir. No, no. Certainly you do. You said, Hi, Pradeep. How do you do? Do you know yes. how do you do is an introduction. It's not a greeting. You know Pradeep already. You should have said, Hi, Pradeep. How are you? And Pradeep, yes, you should sir. have said, I am fine. Thank you. How are you? Oh, how are you? That and another mistake that you made. What, sir? You said, shame on you. Shame, Do you sir? know what is shame? Shame matlab udai, brabar, same, sir. Certainly not. Shame means sharm in Hindi. Oh. You should have said, same to you. Not shame to you. Same. Same to you. Right. S same. Same, not shame. Right, sir. Shame is sharm. Right. And Pradeep? Yes. We never say, what about your brother? You should have said, how is your brother? Oh, how is your brother? How is your brother? Oh, yes. And your brother? Hanji, sir. Doesn't grow lengthy. He grows yes. tall. Tall. And he's handsome, not beautiful. Sir, beautiful is it? Boys, handsome, girls, beautiful. Oh my goodness. And people grow tall. Oh, very right. Not sir. lengthy. Sir, in the future we will use the right word, sir. Future? I'm sorry, it is not future. There is no such word in English sir. like future. It is future. Future. F F F future. F F future. Right. Future. 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 That's right. Future. Right, sir. 
right sir right sir that's that's very right sir i think thank you very I much i hope sir. you will remember this sir I, okay, we will okay, we will sir. try to improve sir. okay sir, sir thank, thank you very you, much sir. Sir. thank okay. you sir thank you very much you are welcome thank you very much sir aap pradeep we will talk sir narration is a way of presenting messages where visuals are explained by a voice from the background normally the contents are read from a prepared text as has been done here one of the major tourist spots of chandigarh is the world famous rock garden and fantasy created by Nick Chan out of urban and industrial waste This is an open air museum housing rocks boulders and waterfalls simulating natural splendor with great evocative and creative power The whole garden is spread over an area of about 4 acres. Rock garden has several chambers of open air enclosures which have been dramatically linked with one another. classroom the performers are students and teachers the teacher also an expert in the area concerned presents subject matter and provides practice let's see the atmosphere here hello students good morning कल हम लोगों ने पर्यावरण के बारे में पढ़ा और यह जाना कि पर्यावरण के मुख्य कारक हैं ध्वनि वायु और जल और ये कल जो हमने पढ़ा उसमें ये था कि स्वच्छ पर्यावरण क्या है लेकिन क्या आज की परिस्थितियों में जब इतना औद्योगिकरण है इतनी ज्यादा जनसंख्या है तो आपको क्या लगता है कि जो आज का पर्यावरण है वो स्वच्छ पर्यावरण है जिसकी बात हमने कल की थी या वो कुछ और है आपको क्या लगता है प्रदूषित है, प्रदूशित है। तो निश्चित रूप से इसको प्रदूषित करने वाले कुछ कारक भी होंगे तो आज हम ये जानेंगे कि प्रदूषण मुख्य तरह का मुख्य प्रकार से कितनी तरह का होता है और उसको प्रभावित करने वाले कारक कौन कौन से हैं और साथ ही हम हम पे वो क्या प्रभाव डालते हैं सबसे पहला प्रदूषण है वो है जल प्रदूषण वेरी गुड अच्छा आप बताइए कि हम जल कहां से प्राप्त करते हैं अपने पीने के लिए बड़े शहरों में विशेषकर ट्यूबवेल से और नदी से तालाबों से कुएं से तो क्या नदियों का और तालाबों का पानी स्वच्छ होता है नहीं, नहीं। इसको कुछ तत्व प्रदूषित करते हैं उसकी वजह क्या है कौन कौन प्रदूषित करता है उन्हें रा मटीरियल उसमें सीधा चला जाता है यस सीवर का पानी चला जाता है और कचरा भी फेंक दिया जाता है और जब ये सब जल में फेंका जाएगा तो निश्चित रूप से जल तो प्रदूषित होगा ही ठीक तो ये तो रहा है कि जल को प्रदूषित कैसे प्रदूषित कैसे होता है और इससे हम पे क्या इफेक्ट पड़ेगा अगर हम वही पानी पिएंगे तो हम पे क्या प्रभाव हो सकता है बीमारियां हो सकती हैं किस तरह की पेट की बीमारियां हो सकती हैं और स्किन डिजीजेज हो सकती हैं उसके बाद बहुत सारी चीजें हो सकती हैं जो होंगी जल प्रदूषण की वजह से उसमें आपने दूसरा मैंने कल बताया था मुख्य कारक है जल वायु और ध्वनि अब हम देखेंगे कि वायु प्रदूषण क्या है वाहनों का धुआं सबसे अधिक निकलता है। हाँ वायु जो है स्वच्छ वायु हमें नहीं मिलती और वो प्रदूषित वायु मिलती आप शाम के समय किसी शहर में चले जाएं और अगर किसी भीड़ भाड़ में खड़े हो तो आपकी आंखें कड़वी होने लगती हैं। ऐसा किस वजह से होता है वायु प्रदूषण से और वायु क्यों प्रदूषित होती है वहीकल्स के धुएं से और फैक्ट्रीज का धुआं बिना शोधित किए हुए चला जाता है इसके अलावा 
धूल मिट्टी धूल मिट्टी ठीक तो वायु प्रदूषण इसकी वजह से होता है और जो मैं इसमें सबसे प्रमुख है कि इस सारे से मिलती है कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड गैस जो हमारे लिए बहुत ही ज्यादा हानिकारक है हमारे फेफड़ों के लिए शरीर के अन्य हिस्सों के लिए अच्छा उसके बाद तीसरा कारक था ध्वनि तो जल और वायु की तो आप बात छोड़ दीजिए आज हमारा हमारे यहाँ ध्वनि भी प्रदूषित हो गई है ध्वनि प्रदूषण आपने देखा होगा कि अक्सर बहुत ज्यादा ध्वनि होती है लोग बहुत तेजी से रेडियो बजाते हैं बहुत तेजी से टेलीविजन चलाते हैं पार्टियां होती हैं जिसमें चीख चीख के लोग बातें करते हैं इलेक्शन होते हैं नेता बड़ी जोर जोर से भाषण देते हैं और इन सबसे क्या इफेक्ट पड़ता है ध्वनि प्रदूषित होती है हमारे लिए जो लिमिट है वो है साठ डेसिबिल की जबकि हम इससे बहुत ज्यादा उत्पन्न कर रहे हैं और इससे होगा ध्वनि प्रदूषण और अगर ध्वनि प्रदूषण होगा आपके कान साठ डेसिबिल सुन सकते हैं और अगर उससे ज्यादा की ध्वनि दी जाएगी तो क्या होगा वैले अच्छा आप कभी ज्यादा शोर में जब जाते हैं तो क्या होता है आपके दिमाग को क्या लगता है थकान तनाव हो जाता है और आज की जिंदगी में जो तनाव है उसकी एक बहुत बड़ी वजह ध्वनि प्रदूषण भी है In presentation, the presenter may or may not be an expert on the subject being taken up. He presents it with an introduction and gives the session a concluding note, as is visible here. Hello. By now, you must have seen a number of people. You must have also noticed, while some people are in groups, others are individuals in isolation. They may be in a jubilant mood, in a romantic mood, sad or happy. But when you concentrate on a few individuals, what do you think are they thinking about? Are they thinking about the daily routine, day-to-day -day activities, or are they analyzing the self? We are usually so busy in our day-to-day -day activities that we hardly allocate time to ask ourselves, "Who am I?" In Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna. while motivating arjuna to fight with the kauravas has portrayed the analysis of the self by asking the question who am i and this ultimately motivated arjuna to fight this is okay so do you know in the present film we have made a humble attempt to discuss some parts of the self which we think are very very important for people working in different walks of life in self analysis different kind of approaches are available self analysis actually means analyzing our personality and understanding it through the behavioral mental physical and spiritual point of Demonstration can be adapted as a method of teaching where ingredients, objects, models, experimental apparatus and other things to name are used. Besides other places, demonstration can also be carried out in laboratories and other settings. This method in display here in an all women's world. Shringar the art of makeup practiced by women for centuries to enhance their beauty Deepthi mm -hmm. can we try it on you today okay mm -hmm. so let's start with the moisturizer and now a thin layer of foundation and a bit of powder this will give a uniform shade to the beautiful skin that she has and now some gentle upward strokes to highlight the cheekbones just smile a little a dab here and a dash here Deepthi tell me what color sari are you wearing this evening blue okay and now 
let us go for the mascara for the beautiful dreamy languorous look in the eyes. And our traditional kajal. A little color there. Just smile a little. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the characteristic Indian bindi. So there you are and then after this the hair, the garments and the ornaments. A commentary provides a running account of an event in the form of a live program. It has an informal air and a spirit of spontaneity about it. A glimpse of such an atmosphere. Hello viewers, very good morning. Myself Pradeep Mishra with my colleague commentator Ms. Deepthi Bharadwaz are going to present the live telecast of 57th day parade of CRPF. As you are well aware that CRPF, Central Reserve Police Force, is one of the oldest paramilitary force in our country. It was established in 1939. At the time of peace, it is involved in the internal states of country to maintain law and order and at the time of war they are on the borders to secure our lives and country. What a grace and what a parade you can see how the parade is going on. Viewers are watching a different personnel from different fields but they are curious to look how the CRP of parade is going on. Now you are curious to know what is the history of this CRP of paramilitary force. Of course we are going to tell you but not myself, my colleague commentator Ms. Deepthi Bharadwaj. Dhanyabad Pradeep ji. Kendriya Reserve Police Bal ke Sattavanve Varshikotsab me Darshako ka Hardik Abhinandan. 28 दिसंबर 1949 को CRPF एक्ट को मान्यता मिली और 19 मार्च 1950 को इसे अपना ध्वज प्रदान किया गया इसका अपना सुनहरा इतिहास है सेवा और भक्ति इसका नारा है त्याग और तपस्या इसकी भावना में डूबे जवानों ने शहादत और बलिदान की कहानी देश के हर राज्य में लिख दी है इस फोर्स ने कम समय में विपरीत परिस्थितियों में जल थल वायु मार्गों से पहुंचकर अपनी श्रेष्ठ सेवाएं अर्पित कर न सिर्फ भारत सरकार का वरन देश के हर नागरिक का मन जीता है धन्यवाद Comparing involves providing related information. A compere holds different segments of a program together. He enjoys a certain amount of liberty to add his own comments too. Let me take you to one such setting. Hello viewers, welcome back to your favorite program, Daffodils Cultural Bonanza. It's the usual package of music, dance, drama and jokes. We have Deepti with us this evening. Let's see what Deepti has brought for us. Deepti, could you present it please? Okay. Ishq satcha hai to fir vada nibhana hoga. Ishq satcha hai to fir vada nibhana hoga. Tum ko ana hoga. तुमको आना होगा इश्क सच्चा है तो फिर वादा निभाना होगा दुनिया वालों से जो डर जाए ये वो प्यार नहीं तोड़ना है दे बफ 
Thank you so much, Deepti. It was really a soul-stirring number. The immortal theme of love, which has inspired so many sculptors, poets, music composers and artists. And now to some humor. Let's see what Pradeep has to say to us. Okay. Hello. Ek chutkula pe se khidmat hai. Oh. Ek baar duniya ke saare scientists ne milke ek aise taar ka avishkar kiya jo aankh se dikhai nahi deta tha. Aur unhone socha ki aur log isme kya kar sakte hain to ek scientist ki meeting bulayi aur unse kaha ki aap isko kya kar sakte hain. To ki ek country ke scientist ne uske do tukde kar diye taar ke. Ek country ke scientist ne usme chhed kar diya. Uske baad jab Hindustan ke scientist ka number aaya तो बहुत नाराज हुआ बोले इतने जरा से काम के लिए मुझे बुलाया मुझ जैसे एक्सपर्ट को तुम लुद... तो बोले फिर इसमें आप क्या करेंगे बोले इसके लिए तो आप लुधियाना में एक दुकान है आप वहां चले जाए एक्सपर्ट की टीम उस तार को लेके आई लुधियाना के उस दुकान में वो बहुत बिजी था उसने कहा ठीक है तार छोड़ जाइए कल ले जाइएगा अगले दिन वो आए बोले आपने तो इसमें कुछ किया नहीं बोले ध्यान से देखो जब उन्होंने ध्यान से देखा तो उस पर लिख उस पर ठप्पा लगा हुआ था मेड इन इंडिया That was brilliant, wasn't it? Hmm? Oh, I can see Ranbir walking in, complete with his guitar and everything. So it has to be music. Aane vich mara deka, pardi pe roz udeka, kanjan milwa de rabba, paai na dur udeka, sajna de mail kara de oye. ऐसे ही गाते रहिए बजाते रहिए मेल तो हो ही जाएगा थैंक यू सो मच रणबीर एंड विद दिस वी ऑल्सो कम टू द एंड ऑफ आर प्रोग्राम थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बींग विद अस आई रियली इंजॉय बींग विद यू सो सी यू नेक्स्ट वीक सेम डे सेम टाइम बाय बाय हैव अ नाइस वीक एंड In cartoon, drawings and graphics are given movement. Certain images also produce speech and perform action. A sample here for us to see. All right, your wish is my command. Let it go, Al. the central position of the program is held by the anchor he normally functions with a planned script as in what follows the water supply and sanitary system is one of the most essential component in the area of building construction now with the help of this double story building model we will come to know 
the various aspects of water supply and the sanitary system, how these are being laid out and how these are arranged. Now let's have a look on the arrangements of the pipes. Water is to be drained out from the three different places. Number one, it is kitchen, bathroom and wash basins. Second is water closets and toilets. And the third is rainwater. Now, let's have a look. There are two different pipes, number one and this is number two. These are called as the rainwater pipe which are combined to a gully traps. Second is the wastewater from the kitchen, bathroom and wash basins, they are combined together and they are again put in the gully traps. These gully traps are then again joined to a inspection chamber. And finally, this is inspection chamber and the water closets. These are combined with the help of a stoneware pipes which are in short called as SW pipes. Finally, all the wastewater from these three points, they are combined into the intercepting chamber as shown here. This is the final intercepting chamber which is called as IC chamber. This is combined with the two different pipes. One is the sewer and second is the fresh air inlet. This is the in short the layout of the water supply and the sanitary system of a building construction. Thank you. Interviews are face-to-face -face verbal sessions organized to get information and opinions from people. The interviewees may or may not be experts in the area they speak on. Let's see the interview going on here. Educational television programs play an important role in the teaching learning process. They enable the learner to have a direct experience of the knowledge. Today we have a few educationists amongst us. Let's find out how do they feel about the use of the ETB programs in the teaching learning process. Mr. Sharda Kaushik, what do you think about the role that ETB programs can play in teaching and learning? Well, I use TV and video programs with my learners. Uh, for instance, once I had shown them the film title, The Sound of Music, and on the basis of the content of the film, I had framed a discussion task for them. So you see, that took care of their oral skills. And then I'd asked them to do a couple of writing assignments on it. And then finally, we integrated all the skills of language teaching uh, on the basis of this content, obviously. So you see how I made use of a film to actually teach them linguistic skills. Thank you. How about you, Mr. Pradeep Mishra? Do you think, do you agree what Mrs. Sharda Kaushik has just subscribes to this? Yes, I think as a, as a teacher educator, I think it is very essential. In conventional teacher training, we, there is no model program is available that what are the teaching skills and how to use it effectively. The trainees are getting this knowledge mostly from their teachers and with the help of ETB programs, they can view different model programs on different subjects that what are teaching skills and how to use it effectively. They can practice themselves and to become a good teacher. Besides, the teacher can also use the model programs when he is going to teach the trainees. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Ranveer Chauhan, what would you like to add to their views? So like, uh, I am a civil engineer and during my college education, I was given very little knowledge about the practical aspects. We were hardly shown any models, charts and virtually no video film on the building construction. And I think this is the essential requirement for such technical courses. That's why now I have made a film on the building construction, especially for the students, and which will be quite helpful, I'm sure about it. On the basis of the views of our educationist friends, there's no doubt that no teaching can be said complete without the use of ETB programs in the teaching learning process. Thank you. 
And now the last method on the list based on news. News reading involves tremendous responsibility. Due to the sensitive nature of the job, the news reader operates within highly restricted boundaries. He cannot change even a word from the news script prepared in advance. Such a specimen is presented here. The headlines once again, RBI announces measures to arrest rupees slide. Key Jaffna town under Rami control. Gilani escapes attempt on life. Dilemma over public sector equity reserve price. President's call for quality goods to exporters. Policy on Kashmir draws flak. More Calcutta government employees to join stir. And in sports, India wins the cricket series against South Africa. With this, we come to the end of the bulletin. The next bulletin at 11 a.m. Have a nice day. In this video film, we saw that the subject matter has many dimensions to look at. It's like a kaleidoscope. On each turn, it makes a new picture of the same bits of pieces of information. Levels of learning may vary. But the approach and the goal remain the same. This was the ultimate objective of this video film. Hopefully, the objective has been achieved. Thank you.